This is the Lumia 550 disassembly video. Before performing any repair actions, make sure you are familiar with these warnings and cautions. To disassemble, you need the standard care tools. You will also need the camera removal tool SS305. Protect the touch panel with protective film. Release the back cover from the top end of the device, and remove the back cover. Remove the battery. Open these five Torx Plus size 4 screws as shown. Do not use them again. Discard them. Open these five Torx Plus size 4 screws on the edge of the device as shown. Do not use them again. Discard them. Start releasing the chassis assembly with the SRT6. Push the SRT6 to the shown place to release the clips on the shown edge of the device. Release the clips near the USB connector. Next release the top end of the chassis assembly with the SRT6. Note the front camera underneath the chassis. Lift the chassis assembly carefully as shown. Use the SS93 to open the board to board connector from the shown side. The window assembly and the chassis assembly with the engine board can now be separated. Release the vibro with the SS93. Use tweezers to remove it. Use the dental tool to release the vibra adhesive. Peel it off with tweezers. Do not use it again. The shown vibra grounding foam is not a spare part. Do not remove it. Release the earpiece with the sharp end of the SS93. Remove the earpiece with tweezers. When the earpiece is removed, the earpiece gasket has always to be renewed. Use the dental tool to detach the earpiece gasket. Do not use it again. Discard it. Release the IHF speaker with the SS93. Use tweezers to remove the IHF speaker. When the IHF speaker is removed, the IHF speaker gasket need to be replaced. Detach the IHF speaker gasket with the dental tool. Use tweezers to remove it. Do not use it again. Detach the IHF back gasket with the dental tool. Do not use it again. Discard it. Turn the chassis over and remove the IHF front gasket with the dental tool. Do not press the chassis against the table. Components on the other side of the chassis, such as the spring clips on the engine board and the front camera, can be damaged. Do not use it again. Discard it. Use the SS93 to open the top flex connector. If the top flex is not damaged, there is no need to remove it when repairing the engine board. Lift the camera carefully with the SS93. Slide the SS93 under the flex and loosen the adhesive underneath the earpiece pad. 
Lift the AV connector. Use the SS93 to loosen the adhesive underneath the Viber pad. Now the top flex can be separated. Use the SS93 to open the front camera connector. Remove the front camera. Use the SS305 camera removal tool to detach the main camera. Use the SS93 to release the shown clip holding the engine board. Release these clips with the SS93. Lift the engine board. Detach the USB boot. To release the LED flash, push it from the back side of the chassis. Turn the chassis over, and remove the LED flash with tweezers. Use the dental tool to remove the flash adhesive. Do not use it again. Discard it. Detach the main camera gasket with a dental tool. Do not use it again. Discard it. Release the two battery cushions with the SS93. Remove them with tweezers. Do not use them again. Discard them. Now the disassembly procedure is complete. This is the Lumia 550 assembly video. Before performing any repair actions, make sure you are familiar with these warnings and cautions. To assemble, you need the standard care tools. Unwrap a new flash LED. Remove the flash adhesive protective film. Place the flash lead with tweezers into place. Secure the flash lead with the SS93. Peel off the IHF speaker gasket protective film with tweezers. Place the IHF speaker with tweezers into place. Align the IHF speaker, so that the pins are towards the antenna area. Press with the SS93 to activate the adhesive. Put the USB boot onto USB connector. Place the engine board onto the chassis assembly. First put the engine board under the shown clip. Lay the bottom end down, and fasten this clip. Make sure that also this clip is secured, and the engine board is firmly attached. Unwrap a new front camera. Secure the front camera connector. Unwrap a new main camera. Place the main camera into socket with tweezers. Use two SS93s to secure the main camera properly. Be careful not to touch the camera lens when pushing the camera down. Do not push the black area near the camera lens, 
autofocus mechanism is located below the black plastic and can be easily damaged. Use tweezers to peel off these two protective films. Remove the protective film from the camera. Remove the protective film from the camera window adhesive. Place the top flex. First attach the earpiece pad area with the SS93. Use these guiding pins in shown order when aligning the earpiece pad. Check that the AV connector is aligned properly. Do not press the front camera. Activate the adhesive under the Vibra pad. Use these guiding pins when aligning the Vibra pad. Check that the main camera is in its cavity. Do not press it. It is correctly aligned when connector side is slightly up. Secure the top flex connector manually. Unwrap a new earpiece. Remove the protective film from the earpiece gasket. Put the earpiece with tweezers into place. Align the earpiece so that the smaller pins are as shown. Activate the adhesive with the SS93. Remove the Vibra adhesive protective film. Use tweezers to align the Vibra. Use the SS93 to activate the adhesive. Peel off the front camera adhesive protective film. Secure the board to board connector manually. Place the display assembly on top of the chassis assembly. Press the sides to make sure all the clips are secured. Fasten these five Torx plus size 4 screws in the order shown, using a torque of 13 Newton centimeters. Fasten these five Torx plus size 4 screws in the order shown, using a torque of 11 Newton centimeters. Place the battery. Peel off the camera protective film. Attach the back cover. Now the assembly procedure is complete.